All right, guys, let's react to it. Mr. Beast. Seven days stranded at sea. We're gonna... Uh, I was gonna watch it on stream, but why watch it on stream, guys? Why not react to it, guys? It's fine if the revenue goes to him, guys. You know what I mean? He's the biggest YouTuber after all, so let's check it out. Seven days stranded at sea. We are now stranded on a raft in the middle of the ocean. And the oh, snap, bro. Imagine, imagine... Imagine uh, drones get that uh, powerful in the future, guys. Where it just zooms out it's like that, man. That would be cool. There goes our boat. We are now stranded for seven days. How much longer? Seven days. Frick. This raft is... <laughs> oh, yay. They got Chris there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He said frick. <laughs> hey. That's good. That's good. Literally countless... This is how you become the number one YouTuber. I'm, I mean, it's not like you t didn't take precautions and stuff, though. But, like, you know, do not attempt, guys. Just do not attempt. Miles from the nearest civilization. And whether we like it or not, my four friends and I are stuck on this raft. And it's not going to be easy. This is brutal. We're all at rock bottom now. This challenge. Bro. That does not look fun, bro. They got like a little tent. It's not even a tent. Went from fun to a literal. There ain't no billion dollar yacht here, right, guys? Nightmare very fast. Bro, look how far away the boat is. I can't even see it anymore. So step one. Uh huh. We're gonna get sunburned. It's good they got a boat to like watch over them. I mean, obviously, right? They got cameras. It's it's Mr. Beast, right? We don't get shade. And I. He looks so he looks sunburned already. That survival specialist equipped this raft with tons of wood, rope, and everything else we would need to build ourselves a shelter. Boys, we need to get started. We are running out of light. I got this side. Ah, oh, my finger. Now we set these up. Where's their food though? They gotta go fishing or something? Oh my gosh. Up like a TP. We picked the worst day to start. As you can tell by the clouds, it's literally about the storm. Ah! So first thing we want to do is set up some structure to cover us. Oh. It probably took like a little bit of training on how to set it up and everything, right guys? Also, since we're on this slab of wood for the next seven days, we need a place to hide from the sun so we don't get sunburned. So, two birds, one stone. Speaking of birds... Oh man, they didn't get... They weren't given sunscreen, guys. Well, I wonder how much they paid just to have this made, guys. We were building? This happened. Bro, the bird! It's coming oh, right at oh us! Oh snap. Oh my god, it's a bird! No. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so friendly, bro. It's a sign from God or something, right? <laughs> this is crazy. We should name him. What's his name? Brian. Brian! Brian! Brian. What if you went and caught some fish? I know. He's looking at me. He understands. Jimmy, just say the word. It's amazing how they got that on camera, guys. What the heck? Is that a trained bird or something? Put the knife away. Okay, I'll put the knife away. <laughs> and the hatchet. <laughs> Oh gosh, Chris is a funny man. Brian, that was a joke. Forget the bird, we gotta build We're a shelter! Friends. And while Brian watched, we worked on our first shelter for the rest of the day. Except for my friend Tariq, who spent the entire day getting cool drone shots. And I'm not even mad about it. Damn bro, what if you let go of the controller? Will it, will it, will it sink down into the ocean? Hopefully it's waterproof. Inside this crate is the food for all five of us for the next seven days. Right. Oh my gosh. Woo! And in these two <laughs> barrels is our entire water supply for all five of us. How does it taste? Very hot. <laughs> oh, no. sure. There was dirt in my cup. It's getting dark and that crate has a sleep on it. Hopefully this- Dang bro. It's just a water tank. <laughs> Survival guides gave us something soft. Why are they wet? Things do get wet on a boat. I'm ready for bed. I want to go to sleep. All right, this is night one, and Brian is just yawning. <laughs> Dude, the bird is still with them. What the heck? That has to be a trained bird, guys. <laughs> this is miserable. This is I'm literally in awe, bro. They still got Brian, the bird. All the coverage we have. I didn't realize what I was signing up for. It's hot. This thing will not stop swaying, and I feel like I'm going to puke. And I'm surrounded by a bunch of sweaty people. Hey, sweaty <laughs> Yeah, he, he decided to do it. I'm not sure if uh, the summer or the winter would be better. Probably sometime during the spring or the um, fall, right, guys? Those are less intense weather. If you guys smell this, it's hot at night. Bad on day one. What are you going to smell like on day seven? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Our first guys, the bird is still there. Night of sleep was really rough. 
Oh, the bird left. Sleeping is impossible. These waves are just making me miserable. And to make matter- The bird didn't leave. Worse, our best friend Brian ended up leaving us that morning. Brian! 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 But regardless, today's a- Oh, man. It chilled with them all night, though, guys. Oh, my gosh. He needed to go get food, though, right, guys? He needed to do bird things. Objective is to build ourselves a permanent weatherproof shelter. How do we turn that into a livable structure? There's definitely something here. Luckily, I had them throw a bunch of wood on the raft so we could build a nice house. How we build the house, I'm not quite sure. But they said this is enough to build a house. But ironically, right as we got started. Oh no, it's raining! Nice throwing! Oh. Jimmy, get my <laughs> shark pillow! A pillow fight. What if a pillow falls in the water, yo? They got no railings on the side of it, yo. This is miserable. This is bad. They they definitely made sure to go and uh, make it uncomfortable for them a little. A little is kind of an understatement, but you know what I mean, guys. Jesus Christ, you're not doing the right thing, Nolan. Listen with your ears. Why do you yell so much? Because you don't oh, listen. I'm gonna hit Nolan. It's just rain. Shut up. <laughs> At least we don't have to shower. Yeah. This is so bad. And we still have over <laughs> six days left. Where do we go poop? Oh, we have to build the pooper. What? We have to build everything that's here. We have to build the toilet, build our shelter, the fire, nice. everything. The moment the rain finished, the boys and I needed to build all of our survival essentials. Starting with the shelter. We're tearing this down in the name of something better. <laughs> this is how you be number one YouTuber, man. You go out of he's been doing things out of the box since he started doing his like saying this word a thousand times a ten thousand a hundred thousand times video. Five minute break for Chris. Hey, I also need a break. I'm seasick. I, I'm I'm out of it. I'm... You gotta have to pick this up. I can't I can't pick it up anymore. I feel like you're doing all the work. <laughs> But we got two other goofs just laying down. I'm miserable. We built one wall. Yeah, we built one wall. All together. All of us. Regardless of being seasick, it was going to take all of us if we wanted to finish this. Now you guys bring it forward. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Let's hey. go. How many YouTubers does it take Seasick's to build a little look. structure? What? Did we Is that a whale? I think that's a whale. That's it. Yo, they finally found their first one, yo. Guys, I went whale watching when I was in like third grade, and I didn't find a single whale at all, man. It was all bad. Oh my god, that yeah. is unreal. There are actually whales. This experience just keeps getting better. Shelter, water, not being near Nolan. I'm never gonna take that for granted again. Probably. Or they ain't got no shower in there. It would have been really useful to. He's gonna catch a whiff of Nolan. Build the ladder first. You got a ladder now. I literally just built this four minutes ago. After hours of building, we were finally getting somewhere. Okay, now that's upgrade. It's way better than sleeping on the floor. I severely got... regret making this a seven day challenge instead of a 50 hour challenge like all our other videos. We keep rocking back and forth. It's freaking miserable. I'm gonna puke. And finally, just as the sun was going down. Camp is and it's a beautiful sight, man. There's nothing in the ocean but the water, basically. Is now organized. Yay! Yay! Night two, my bed is still broken, but I'm gonna get some sleep tonight because I'm that tired. I'm gonna head to bed. Oh, did I wake you up? Uh, just go back to bed. I'm just walking. I accidentally woke laser up. I feel bad now. This might be laser beams there. Okay, okay. Yeah, I saw he posted a TikTok about it. Be the most tired I've ever been in my entire life. It's now day three, and somehow. They made the day three like the light and dark theme kind of a how you can switch between that logo it looked like. Our building didn't fall over. I'll take that as a dub. Noises that this structure made while I was sleeping last night filled me with nightmares. It's day three and we've really started to get into a rhythm. Our morning routine consisted of peeing in the corner. Bro, who vlogs in the pee corner? <laughs> I'm not moving. Eating our breakfast. Surviving on feastables. What's all you need? And drinking... Hey, peaceables are pretty good. Hot barrel water. So dehydrated. I need. It could have been Mr. Beast Burger. Eat this. We're about 36 hours in, and we're almost halfway through a barrel of water. Is that slow or fast? We're gonna run out on day six. Running low on water and food gave me an idea. I'm kind of curious to see what's under the boat. 
Dude, there's so many fish below us. So we decided to try to catch some dinner, but we weren't very good at it. Why does this take so long? Not I just want something to put in my stomach. Brian! Brian, help us catch fish! Brian! Brian! Turns out fishing is a lot harder than YouTube. After our <laughs> Well, of course, we caught absolutely nothing. There's so many under there. Why can't we catch anything? Oh, I give up. It's like they're too smart, man. They're too smart for us humans. Uh, we were tired, dehydrated, and hungry, which forced us to dig into our rations. Let's have ourselves a feast. Yeah! yeah. We call it a feast. A bowl. Uh, <laughs> uh, in our supplies, we had wood to build a fire and pans to cook with. You take big stick and make really little sticks and then make medium sticks, then use the big sticks at the end. Okay, we got a fire pit going. Look at the beans, baby. I'm oh. so excited, this looks awesome. Chili These beans. Really Can you tell we've been at sea for three days? <laughs> when have I ever been this excited over canned chili? Hey, I put some love into this. They waited three, day for, three days for canned chili, guys. It's not just canned <laughs> chili anymore. It's got tomatoes, kidney beans. You don't have to keep talking, I'm already drooling. This was our <laughs> first hot meal in days. <laughs> but it was also a good chunk of our rations, so we made sure to enjoy it. I'm feeling a lot better. I think the first two days were definitely the most miserable. I think we're... They still got four days left though, bros. Slowly like losing our minds and it's actually becoming bearable. I still haven't gone to the bathroom. That's my biggest concern now. Oh, here's the part where uh, he goes to the bathroom, guys. I'm struggling to sleep. This raft is just rocking like crazy. Guys, I would probably get seasick day one, man. I, I get car sick. I get car sick of all things, guys. Not gonna lie, I'm kinda miserable. Hopefully tomorrow's better. Alright, back to day mode. None of us managed to get any sleep. We lost the back of our fort last night. The house needs some repairs. Tensions are pretty high on the raft. Guys, I'm, I'm sure they have like emergency life vests and stuff, or they can call for help, but it's kind of scary being out there, man. Half this morning, Nolan's a little upset. He broke his bed. Oh my god! Nolan is struggling. And he's just in his feels right now. It'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> you probably would have quit the channel if I did that. <laughs> this is easily the worst. Uh, no, nobody should fall in. That's too much. It'll be hard to get back on the raft. Oh, there's thunder. I swear if it starts raining again. Oh, I can't take that. And to make matters worse, we accidentally dropped our ladle in the drinking water. And since we haven't showered in four days, grabbing it technically contaminated the drinking water. I'm never drinking out of that again. Ah. Or to when we run out of water. Because of the contamination, a third of our water was no longer safe to drink. For whatever reason, the more I suffer, the more you guys watch. Some of our most popular videos are when I buried myself alive, spent time in solitary confinement. So I hope you're happy. I'm suffering again. It's not easy surviving on a raft, but after... Hey guys, I, I need to make a video like that or something, bro. After four long days. Lasers finally pooping. Can you play a celebratory <laughs> song? Oh gosh. Why, why, why film that, bro? Come on now. It's such a huge YouTuber, by the way. That guy's like 20 mil subs. He's not, he's not a small YouTuber at all. It's it's See how all those clouds over there are dark? Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna pour down on us tonight. Tonight's gonna suck. We didn't know it yet, but the biggest storm of the entire challenge was heading right towards us. And when we saw yeah. it approaching, we tried to prepare as much as possible. Can't wait for another storm just to destroy all this again. Tariq is fixing his side of the fort and Chris is fixing the roof. And I'm now- I wonder how much they made each here making these videos, guys. A million dollars, at least. The cameraman for some reason. There's a storm of ruin! And while they're preparing the shelter for the storm, I'm going to tell you guys about Shopify because it might literally storm until the end of the challenge. This is yeah, we got a sponsor as well. He's been doing a lot of sponsor streams recently. going to be a bit rocky. Shopify is a platform that makes it easy for anyone to start a business. They literally support millions of small businesses all around the world. From selling wood to nails to crates to crops. They support businesses that sell it on Shopify. We're soon gonna have absolutely zero tops covering this structure. I Guys, I have never had Crocs before. Have you? I am worried about it. 100% of what I sell online, from merch to feastables, I do with Shopify. It's actually getting pretty rocky out here. Save my Bro, bad. the wind is getting crazy. We're out of nails. It's really hard to work around the wind, guys. Ah! Is he really? 
That's interesting. Stop yelling and do things! Shopify even has a new AI tool called Sidekick, making running your entire business easier. Just like surviving on this rap can be hard, so can entrepreneurship. And that's why they do everything in their power to make it as easy as possible for you. This is my worst nightmare. Ooh, really? So I'm miserable. <laughs> go to shopify.com slash MrBeast to give it a try right now. Thank you, Shopify. Let's go prep for the storm. I'm soaking wet! It, it takes a lot of editing skills to like you know get all that footage because they would just record in a seven day period and then bam they got to edit it i wonder how long it takes them guys maybe you can start helping us jimmy i, I was paying for the rap <laughs> <laughs> The storm was really starting to pick up, but that night it got so much worse. This really puts the helter in shelter, eh? Ah! Oh no! Dude! Oh, are you kidding me? It's leaking! Oh no. This shelter is the opposite of waterproof. <laughs> ah! This is brutal. What do we do? We have three ah! more nights in this. Next three. Nolan, does he got like an esports like a shirt on or something, bro? It looks like it. By the way. Ah! There's water everywhere. It's useless. This does nothing. This is the most insane night yet. Oh. Guys, are they doing this without phones? I'm not sure if they are or not. I can't tell. <laughs> is this safe anymore? Just... I'm sure they brought their phones just like, you know, but they're just out of sight. Like, they don't use them all the time. Film this in a studio. But no, we have to be the real channel. Maybe not, though. Channel that doesn't fake things. Oh, we're going to die. We're getting just destroyed. Oh, I'm getting hit. There's a hole that is completely opened up over my- Like, you could definitely make this, like, a one-hour documentary or a 30-minute, like, two-hour show, bro. You know, not, I'm not gonna lie. I bet. I can't do this. I can't do this. You can end this video, Jimmy. You Jimmy, please. Man, you can make it scripted like Bear Grylls did, if you guys see me react to that video. Or maybe I didn't react to it, but yeah. I tried to talk all you guys out of it. You all said yes. This is the worst experience I've ever had in my entire life. I hate every oh, part of this. Bro, I'm just miserable right now. Ah! They're having social media withdrawal. They're away from it, right guys? The storm was reaching a new peak with every passing hour. We were desperate, so we tried using our beds as literal walls to protect us from the rain. We're all at rock bottom now. It's been raining for a few hours. Stuff's freezing cold. We don't have beds. I'm getting nauseous. I don't know if we're gonna make it this full seven days at this point. They gotta huddle together for warmth or something, man. They're technically doing it, it but... It rained non-stop for around 20 hours straight. Dang, bro. And I'd, after be, I'd be scared of lightning or something. Standing the whole night, completely soaked and exhausted, we had to push ourselves to dry off our supplies and rebuild camp. Our raft is just in shambles. Look at our beds. We're trying. It rained during summer, guys. I'm off. This is harder than Antarctica. This is harder than a desert video. I'm just ready to be home. And I hate this raft. I never want to see it again. Our entire fire pit is completely drenched. We couldn't start a fire if we wanted to tonight. No dinner. And to make matters worse, all of our food was completely soaked, meaning only a portion of it was still safe to eat. We had stability. We had... They only had Jack Link's beef jerky, man. We had food. <laughs> we had dry beds. And I'm sure if they actually ran out of water, they'd like some have somebody bring water or something. You know what I mean? And we took it for granted. We cannot take another night like that. Chris looks a little sunburned as well. We need or at least a tan. We need to waterproof the shelter. We just rip that off, cut, tied it here, and then we'll leave the air to the side. Yeah, this is I mean, last time we were shivering cold and went to die. So would you rather be warm and dry or cold and wet? Put a zip tie here, Nolan. Tie a rope to that. Zip tie there. We can use that to push this up so we get even more room. I'm thinking. And they had all night, all, like five days to think about, you know, how to build a good shelter, you know what I mean? Why don't I make a really big Whoa. clothesline and hang up all our wet stuff? Maybe we'll have dry towels by tomorrow. I want to die. I'm sunburned, tired, dehydrated, and I say tired. After fixing camp, we were so exhausted that we spent most of the day sleeping. But at least when we woke up, we were reunited with a familiar friend. Brian. After being stuck on a raft for five days with these guys, this really is a nightmare. That's a lot of Brian's right there. <laughs> I'll admit it. I miss Brian. Brian, moved on. <laughs> you may not have given up on Brian, but Brian gave up on you. Brian's <laughs> given up on us. We have two days left. We're running. Hey, it was a pelican of good luck. Out of food, our water's contaminated. 
and we're all borderline dying. Oh, I'm going crazy. These last two days will be interesting. Uh, oh, like what could go wrong now? I can literally see 500 fish down there. That is crazy. They're, they're waiting to, you know, uh, eat up, like, eat eat them, bro, like, in case they fall in or something, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, this poop bucket stinks! I almost had a mental break last night. I was shivering, wet the entire time, could not sleep. It was one of the worst nights of my life. Last night, shivering. Guys, that's how uh, being homeless felt for me, man. In the torrential rain, in the middle of the deep, dark ocean. You know, we got through it. Now the end of this challenge should not come soon enough. Making the challenge seven days was uh, a horrible decision. This is so much harder. The new reinforced waterproof fortress actually worked. Lennon said it rained last night, did it? Yeah, at 4 a.m. sprinkled a little hey, bit. Hey, here's the beauty. I didn't even know. That was the best sleep I've ever gotten. I actually got a full night's sleep last night. I can barely even open my eyeballs. Dang, imagine waking up and you're like, oh snap, I'm not in bed, am I? I'm in a rack. Oh gosh. I gotta do this, just keep doing this challenge. I would say this is the hardest challenge we've ever done. Adding the extra five days on the end of a 50 hour challenge definitely makes it harder. The fact that we're just drifting at sea on this hunk of wood, that's pretty impressive. And while it seemed like the rain was over, we found ourselves encountering a new op. Well, that looks so awesome. Obstacle. We've gone from shivering cold like two nights ago to it being scorching hot, unbelievably hot. I'm about to jump in the water because I'm getting too hot. We're gonna go swimming. I hope Nolan can swim. And while they cooled off in their own way, we got creative with ours. Oh yeah, it's bad. Cold air. I feel amazing. Air. The jellyfish hit me. No, no, no. Ow! Why does the ocean hate us? I knew it was a great idea not to go swimming. Oh. Oh. Oh, Are you okay? Oh, my leg. Oh, my God. I found the sweet spot. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I got a little welts and some red lines. For the ma Ouch. majority of the day, it was so hot. We lived. I'd be scared of sharks, yo. I really couldn't walk on the deck. Yeah, I'm hot, hot. I don't want to be alive. Yeah. I'm hot. It's very hot. But as the sun went down, we were optimistic about reaching the finish line. Yeah, less than 24 hours left in the challenge. This is. Oh man. It's genuinely been the hardest challenge video I've ever been a part of. Honestly, this whole experience has made me appreciate all the things we take for granted in life, like your shower, your food. But yeah, it's like taking a 40, uh, 60 minute survival documentary, making it only 18 minutes, guys. I miss food. <sighs> a working <laughs> toilet. I never want to poo in a bucket again. Oh, sorry. I say we celebrate making it this far with the feasible bar. Yes. I thought their food was ruined, guys. Available in every Walmart, Target, 7-Eleven, Albertsons, and America. In 2023, if you're still buying Hershey's, it's kind of lame. Hershey's for <laughs> the boomers. Oh, <laughs> Jimmy. The Why is my chair what is just broke? Jimmy, I'm starting to think you ate all the food. Yeah, I guess I'll just continue the time lapse <laughs> with the broken chair, I guess. They're like, yo. Let's all ch sit here for a time lapse or something. This is our final night sleeping together, everybody. Ooh, I'm so and glad to sleep alone. I'm gonna miss sleeping by your side. 100%. I would not rather sleep next to any other man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And with that, I'm going to bed. <laughs> They're almost done. I wonder if they got like any last final hard challenge before the it ends, guys. You know what I mean? Like they do with uh, their challenges. After an amazing night's sleep, we were visited by a familiar face. Brian brought his family to say goodbye to us on the last day. Thank you, Brian. That meant a lot. It's almost like we were family to Brian. We were. He kept us safe during our, like the night we had the least shelter. Maybe he's just a pea brain bird. <laughs> Shut up. Nolan, off the raft. I wish. That was emotional. Everything's gone full circle. We had so many crazy Hey, yeah, you got all that time to think about the next video idea, right, guys? We're not going to know until it drops, for the most part. I've reason this craft. Yep, and I think my best memory is going to be leaving. <laughs> Same. We spent over 150 hours on this floating piece of wood. And even though it was easily the hardest thing I've ever done, the boys and I still had some good time. Where's this boat? Where's the boat? It's in the boat! Then finally, the end was literally in sight. The boat is coming! Alert the ship of our location. Signaling the boat! Why is it moving so abnormally slow? Oh, 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 o
Oh my god! I'm getting off this route. The first 10,000 people to go to the shop app will get a free box of Feastables. Click the link in the description to download the shop app right now. All right, guys, that's a lot. That's a video. Let's look at a few comments. Subscribe for Brian. Are we expecting another surviving on planet Mars for 30 days challenge? <laughs> I see that these are beams getting out and having fun. All this guy's got. And this is an active video, guys. Constantly having more and more comments that are only a few hours old. Be on the front page. Jimmy looking fit. Who's this? Sheesh. Sheesh. All right, guys, that's our video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Like, comment, subscribe, check out the original creator description. I do all my reactions live on Twitch, so consider donating. I don't make any money currently. Matter of fact, I just got a copyright strike, man. But we're trying to. We're sending a counter notification, and uh, yeah, hope. I think they will uh, accept. I hope they do so. Later.